Hello and welcome to Geeking Out. You are looking at video number one. I can't believe it. I decided to start a YouTube channel. I know I'm shocked. At any rate, I've been making stuff pretty much my entire life. Uh, woodworking, metalworking, software hardware development, music, and a ton of other hobbies that I don't have enough time for. But without further ado, I'll see you in the shop. So we're in a 30 by 70 shop that my wife and I built by ourselves, pretty much um, a couple of years back. And uh, this is where all the magic happens, I guess you'd say. So some of the things that I like to do, uh, like I said before, woodworking, metalworking, uh, 3D printers, uh, really enjoy uh, designing stuff in CAD and printing it out with 3D printers. A lot of internet technology based stuff. What I'd like to uh, start with first project is I've got a sawmill that I actually started collecting pieces and parts for about two years ago, well, maybe even a little longer than that. Um, and I'm basically building it out of scrap metal. Um, so I think that's gonna be the first project that we document on this channel. Um, I'll take some input from you guys and let you see some of the things that I'm doing. And I don't think it's anything that's uh, innovative or whatnot compared to what I've seen. I've, I'm using a lot of ideas from other people's DIY sawmills that I've seen on YouTube. So I don't think you're going to see anything drastically different. Um, but we will start with that project and then um, I've got a, oh, what is it? It's a big bandsaw, um, a metal bandsaw that I'd like to restore. It's fairly old, rusted, etc. I just picked it up off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. And I'd like to video document uh, restoring that and getting it in working shape. Um, but again, I think we'll start with the sawmill. So here's the sawmill in all its glory. And I'll tell you what, I could probably use some feedback from you guys. And I'm going to be um, going over what I've done so far. I'm using 18 and a three quarter inch um, pulleys there, the band wheels. And I started out with a, I think it's a 10 inch. Yeah, 10 inch drive wheel here. And I believe I'm gonna move to a 14 inch that just came in there in the box today. So we're gonna see how that works. And uh, yes, I am aware that one inch shafts is probably not gonna cut it, but it's what I had. And pretty much everything here is made from scrap metal. Um, that I have been collecting over the last two years and believe it or not there wasn't a whole lot of uh, tape measuring going on either and the reason for that was again I was working with scrap metal pieces so I just if like if you look down here at these pieces I just stuck with the links that I had to make the sawmill um, the size that it is now I did, regarding the width, I did, of course, make that a four foot. Um, what I did was went to a salvage place we've got near us and found some of this uh, sea channel in scrap. And it was probably about three inches longer <laughs> than what you see it right there, at least the blue pieces. Um, so I cut it down to where the finished width of the trailer was going to be around the four foot mark. And um, again, just built it out from there. Uh, 
And there was a guy, I think the channel is Texas Dash Covers. Uh, I think his name is Larry Birch or something like that. I'll try to put a link to the, the channel in my comments. I liked how he had this adjustment uh, set up and you know he he had some people making comments on it that it was going to be difficult or whatnot and he seems to think it works great so I figured I'd give that a shot and uh, see how it works again I can change it if, if it doesn't work I can change it down the road and if you look down in there you'll see a, a small protruding uh, nut that's actually a an all thread that runs through this main uh, bar here and the other side expands out so that's how I take up the slack on the band blade bandsaw blade and one thing I did which was pretty cool and I'll put a picture to the uh, test piece that I did is I used a 3d printer with some uh, carbon based carbon fiber filament based stuff in it designed and printed a shim that uh, basically allows this thing to take up slack on there. We're also going to be using this, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the exact model number on it, but it's a pretty common 18 horsepower motor that you see on eBay. Uh, Dur Duramax 18 horsepower motor, we're going to be using that on this. Uh, I temporarily, I bought it specifically for this sawmill project and uh, temporarily had to use it on a log splitter that I've got. The nine horsepower uh, Honda knockoff that it's got had some problems. I pulled it off and rebuilt it and so I just swapped that out the other day so I could get this motor back and uh, get it ready to mount on this sawmill. So you've seen pretty much what I've got done on the bandsaw at this point, and I'll be recording some more videos of actually working on it, whatnot, coming up with ideas. If you see anything that stands out that's going to be a problem or have any suggestions or whatnot, I'm all ears. Please post them in the comments. If you like these videos, these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button and like it. And you guys have a good day.